Hello everyone, welcome back to the Feel Art. Today we would achieve this moon shape with resin and customize this family frame. For this project, we would need two molds, 8 inch and 10 inch, white pigment from Epoch, cream pearl pigment, dark pink pigment from Epoch, pearls, transparent stones, pink granules, customized name sheet and laminated photos. Now let's get started. To achieve the desired moon shape, we would place both of these moon like this. The idea is very simple here. We would be pouring resin only in this area of the bigger mold and this smaller mold would not allow the resin to come in this area. So automatically a moon shape would be achieved. So let's get started. I am applying the cello tape here just in case. Time to take out the resin. Here we are taking total of 54 grams of resin mix meaning 36 grams of resin and 18 grams of hardener this much resin is needed for the moon area now we would be taking solid cream pigment a little then we would take a little from white pigment also mixing it thoroughly for some time and now let's pour it is crucial to pour the right amount of resin mix here as we would want to minimize the resin going underneath the smaller mold which creates the thin layer of resin post drying and also we do get this extra thing which also we want to minimize we simply cannot pour the resin today in the remaining area of small mold as there would be a level gap due to this presence of small molds bottom part now we would keep it to dry for next 24 hours all right we are back after 24 hours and let's see how it is we would be removing the smaller mold and indeed we do have our desired moon shape here now let's remove the thin layer of resin which got created underneath of the smaller mold this moon shape also needs some cutting of extra development okay we are done with this time for pouring in the remaining area with dark pink pigment Adding white pigment also to minimize the transparency as it is a pearl pigment from Epoch. Mixing it well and let's pour. We would make sure that we match the previous level of moon shape so that it looks even not up or down. Let's spread more. I think we need more. Adding the same would finish adding and keep it to dry for 24 hours. Alright, we are back after 24 hours and... It's dried and now we can finish the decor part with final layer. Let's add the photos first. These all photos are laminated. Make sure to laminate the photos before adding them to the resin. I have applied glue here so that the photos do not move once placed. Now adding the resin mix for final layer. This time we are adding 138 grams of total resin mix would spread evenly. Now would add the gold flakes mixed with resin at the outer boundary of the moon. Adding more to finish the boundary. Now we have the customized transparent sheet of names which we would add. It's better to add resin before the text sheet to avoid any air formation with the text. Adding the boy name text. Now we would be adding pearls on the right side boundary. These stones are transparent, placing them properly. Again, with the pearls, we are decorating the moon boundary, adding dark pink granules to the design. Now, the final part, which is adding seashells. I am already loving the outcome, and post drying, it looks like this. Thanks for watching the feel art. Hope you learned something. Do let me know your queries or anything you want to ask in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye bye.